yourself totally welcome to church of uganda family television and this is soul moment we began with beautiful worship in runyankole ruchiga ndiowawe ndiowawe i am yours i am yours this is the cry of my heart to the lord i am yours and make it your prayer make it your confession as well as you say to god i belong to you i belong to you my soul says yes to your will and to your way i belong to you and to inspire us tonight to inspire us this day i will read for you from a few a few verses from romans chapter 12 romans chapter 12 where paul is writing to his hearers and saying I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service, your spiritual worship. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing, holy and acceptable to God. As I read this word, present your bodies a living sacrifice. I cannot help but go back to those matters, Kakumba, Serwanga, and Rugarama, whose bodies were cut and uh, whose bodies were, killed, were slaughtered. They were slaughtered as if they were sacrifices. These men and all the other matters 
just gave their bodies. They, they just didn't, they, they, they didn't care. The word sacrifice is a literal word, which means the killing of an animal. And so animals were brought to the altar. Sometimes they would be lambs. Sometimes they would be goats. And they would be slaughtered at the altar. Their blood would ooze out of their iotas. Their blood would be shed at the altar. It would flow down. And friends, uh, that is what a sacrifice is. It gives up its life. Its blood is shed to appease a higher power. To atone for some sinners somewhere. And now when Paul uses this language, I appeal to you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your, your reasonable service, your spiritual worship. I, I just cannot help but think about those who have literally given their bodies a living sacrifice. And the picture brings me to this very great instruction. Give yourself fully. Give yourself totally to God. Let nothing remain. Don't hide something. Don't leave something out. Just give yourself fully to the Lord. When you are serving the Lord, when you are honoring the Lord, when you are serving in the name of Jesus, for that's what the Bible says, do everything in the name of the Lord. Go to that workplace. Go to that technical workplace. Go to that administrative workplace. Go offer your service in the name of the Lord. Give yourself fully. Take that paycheck and rejoice, but rejoice even the more that you are serving the Lord. Rejoice even the more that the Lord receives your commitment. Give yourself fully to the Lord. And as we continue reading here, we find very beautiful instructions regarding serving God. And from verse 6, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, give yourself fully. He who exhorts in exhorting. He who gives with liberality. He who leads with diligence. He who shows mercy with cheerfulness. These are the different gifts that God is speaking about to his people. And he says, exercise those gifts fully. Give yourself totally. I loved the part which says that there's even a gift of giving. The people who are gifted in giving. Give li with liberality. Give cheerfully. Give without counting the cost. Don't count how much you have given and say that I have given enough. Give liberally. Give liberally. Without counting the cost. Don't grow weary in doing well. Yours may be, by the way, all of us should be gifted at giving. Because if it's more blessed to give than to receive, no one wants to forsake those blessings, the blessings of giving. And so when I say give yourself fully, give yourself totally, even with your money, even with your possession, even with some item in your house that you know will be loved by a neighbor and you want to give it to them. Give liberally, give with liberality, give cheerfully those gifts that God is calling us to. And uh, later on in verse number 11, this was pointed out but, uh, but by a friend of mine. Yeah, it says, we should not be lagging in diligence. We should not be lagging in diligence. We should be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Not lagging in zeal. But fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Give yourself fully. Give yourself diligently. I want to pray that God will receive our sacrificing ourselves. And in that Ruyankole Ruchiga song that we sang, 
uh, it begins by saying, Lord Jesus, I am no longer a rebel. I am no longer rebellious. I'm no longer holding back. I now come and offer myself as a sacrifice. I offer myself to you. I am yours. I am yours. As you say, I am yours. Don't withhold anything. Come with all that you are and all that you have and give yourself totally. Not all of us will be required to lay our lives like the matters. Not all of us. But each one of us has a share in giving yourself to the Lord fully. And may the Lord give you the grace at your workplace. May the Lord give you grace in all that you do to serve the Lord. To be encouraged to serve the Lord without getting tired, without giving up. Let us pray. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy matters, Nua Serwanga, Mako Kakumba, and Yusuf Rugarama, triumphed over suffering and were faithful unto death, giving themselves holy. May you strengthen us with your grace that we may endure reproach and persecutions and faithfully bear witness to the name of Jesus our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen and amen. God bless you and watch over you and give you peace and give you grace to give yourself all the days of your lives. Amen.